Hi everyone, Sweat Trainer Kayla Ritzinas here and I'm with Women's Health UK and I'm super excited because as part of my 28 day plan, I am going to take you through a full body workout today. So let's get started. So with this full body workout, it's broken up into two circuits and each circuit is seven minutes with four exercises per circuit. Now those four exercises are a reverse lunge and knee up, a mountain climber, a bent leg raise, and a push up. And in circuit two, you have a jump squat, a hover leg extension, a drop push up, and a straight leg raise. So with this full body workout comes a full body warm up. So what I want you to do is follow along with me now. Okay, now that we've warmed up, we're gonna get straight into the workouts. We start that seven minute timer. The first exercise is a reverse lunge and a knee up. So you're gonna go reverse and knee up, reverse lunge and knee up. So you wanna do 10 of these per side. So down and back up, nice and controlled and balanced. If you want and you have available wall you can hold or a chair. And if you're feeling a little off balance, you can modify this by just doing a squat and knee up, squat and knee up. But I want you to continue to do those 10 reps per side. Once you've done 10, swapping legs. That's it, nice and controlled. Once you've done 10 per side, you're swapping legs. Really good. So you wanna keep your head up, your back straight. We're moving into the next exercise, so down, we're gonna do mountain climbers. So just a quick 20 reps. When you're doing a mountain climb, you're starting in push-up position, knees into your chest. Now common mistakes with this is hands too far forward or shoulders too far forward. You wanna maintain that nice neutral position, push-up position and walking in and out. You can slow this down to a walk. You really wanna focus on your core, but this is the pace that I would go at. So once you've completed those 20 mountain climbers, you're gonna go into a bent leg jackknife. Now what this means is, hands to your feet or to your knees, extending out and back in. Extending out and back in. We're doing 15 of these. Now for the legs who need a modification to this, you can have your hands underneath your bottom. You can bring your knees up to your chest and back down. There's always a way to modify your exercises to suit you. I don't want you to push yourself into a zone where you feel very uncomfortable, or you feel comfortable when you're working out. It's perfect, in and back out. Continue with those back bent leg jackknives. Reaching all the way back, back in. Now I'm having my head up. You can also keep your head onto the ground if that feels more comfortable for you. But for me, 
my head up feels more comfortable. From here, we're gonna move into a push-up, 10 reps. Now I do push-ups on my toes. Totally up to you though, you can drop down on your knees to do those push-ups. For any of the ladies who are feeling a little bit stress, of stress in their wrist, in a fist, and you can do the same thing, down and back up. So that feels more comfortable for you. Once we have done those 10 push-ups, we're moving back up, standing back up, into that reverse lunge and knee lift. Reverse lunge and knee lift. So when you're doing this, your head is up, your chest is up, back is straight. And really, as you bring your knee up, you really wanna focus on that core. Crunch in, back down. Up, crunch in, back down. Good, once you've done 10, we're swapping legs. Fantastic work. Keep going. You can go ahead or I can go ahead. It's completely up to you. Just work at your own pace. Moving down into those mountain climbers, those 20 reps, and this should be 20 quick reps. If you are walking it though, it'll be a little bit slower. Really concentrate, totally up to you. So once we've done those 20 reps, nice and fast, we're moving back into that bent leg just now. Laying down on our back, you can have your head down. I lift my head up a little bit. I touch my feet, you can also touch your knees. Extending out and crunching in. Extending out and crunching in. Try not to, as you bring your legs out, arch your back too much. You wanna keep your back, back flat on the mat as much as you can. Really control the movement. Another common mistake is people fling their legs out and down and the back will arch. The aim is not to touch your heels onto the ground, it's to hover above. So you can even go a little bit higher if that feels comfortable for you. Really good, and we're moving in to those push-ups. 10 push-ups, really breathing. So if you wanna work out how to breathe, a lot of people ask me how. Breathe in as you go down, so in through your mouth, in through your nose, and push out through your mouth. That's it. And again, you can drop down to your knees. Really good, push up, those push ups. And then we're coming back up into our reverse lunge. So we're making very good time. If you're keeping up with me right now, we're making really, really good time. We have two minutes to go. So back, knee up. As you come up, tense that glute muscle back down. Again, I'll repeat it. Chair wall to balance. Makes you feel a little bit more stable. The exercise is just as effective. Down and back up. We've got 90 seconds to go. We're going to complete those reverse lunge and knee ups and then down into those 20 mountain climbers. So I'll count it out for you now. 20, 19, 18, 70, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well done. Into a bent leg jackknife. In, out, in, and out. Again, at your own pace, as you can hear, probably, that I'm puffing. So I'm tired. I'm going to push through. And feel the burn. Well done. Out and back in. Always modify the exercise if you need to. Good. Back in. Make sure that you're breathing through your ab exercises. And we're into our push ups. We have 30 seconds of the workout to go. 30 seconds of circuit one. Really push up through that push up. Lower yourself down, push up and lower yourself down. Make sure your hands are in line with your shoulders. Really good. Keep it going, you can drop down to your knees. And let's stay here. Let's stay here for the next 10 seconds. Nine, no matter where you are, stay here. Eight, seven, six, last five seconds. Four, three, two, and one, well done. That is circuit one done. Take a deep breath, grab a drink.
Get ready for circuit two. Okay, last circuit, we're getting into circuit two. So let's get started, start that seven minute timer and we're moving straight into jump squat. So we're jumping up and down, jump squat, jump squat. Okay, so some of the common mistakes with this is you wanna watch your knees. So people go in with their knees, obviously that's exaggerated, but it's very common to bring your knees too far in. So you wanna track over your toes. So if you're thinking about it, as you're jumping down, your knees are in line with your toes. So you're completing 10 of those. now. Obviously the modification to this is just a regular squat on the spot and going at your own pace. Once we've done that, we're gonna move into a hover leg extension. So we're gonna get into that hover position like so, and we're extending our leg out. So it's like a glute kickback, but it's a little bit harder. That's it, so we're alternating legs. Well done. Now obviously, if you're finding it hard on your core, you can just drop down and do a regular leg extension like so. So what we're trying to do here is 16 reps. Really good. Out and back in. And once you've done those 16 reps, we're moving into a drop push up. So what we're gonna do is similar to a burpee, but we're not jumping up. So hands on the ground, jumping backwards, drop down to that push up, come back in and you stand up. We're doing 10 of these. What you want to do is start lowering yourself down. Ideally, start lowering yourself down as you jump backwards, lower down as your feet touch the ground and come back up. And jump backwards, lower down as your feet touch the ground and come back up. Now, to modify this, hands on the ground, step out, drop down to your knees, push up and come back in. We'll do that again. Hands out, legs out, drop and back in. Hold on. One more. And moving into a straight leg raise. So we're doing 15 of these, hands underneath, like so. Legs are straight, coming back up. Now, again, common mistakes. People arch their back too much. They do this, their back raises. You don't want to do that. You want to keep your back to the floor. So just bend your legs a little bit. You can do alternating. Or, if you need to modify it, go back to that bent leg raise. But for now, anyone following along with me, this is probably the pace that I would go at. Again, going at your own pace. And I raise my head up a little, because that feels comfortable for me. Good. Straight back up into those 10 jump squats. Nine, eight, Seven, six, five more. One. And you can also modify if you need. Really good moving into that hover leg extension. So hover and then extend. Concentrate on a lot of things here. So while you're doing this, listen to me really carefully. So I want you to make sure that your wrist and your shoulder is in line. So that's the first thing I want you to check. Your core is on, it's engaged, and you feel your glutes as you kick backwards. If you do not, you feel like it's too much, drop down into a regular kickback. Remember, we're counting to 16. You can go ahead of me, or you can stay behind and focus on your form, because that's what's most important here. Really good, once you've got to 60, you're up into those drop push-ups. Woo, I'm tired now. Down and back up. And down and back up. To modify, stepping out, 
Drop down to your knees, push up, stepping in, standing up. Again, out to your knees, push up and standing back up. Really good. Keep pushing. Get a little bit out of your comfort zone. Understand it's hard. We're just gonna push through this. We have two minutes to go. Move into that straight leg raise. Hands underneath your bottom, leg straight, down and back up. Down and back up. Again, if we're modifying, leg straight, single leg raise. And if we're modifying again, we're bending, bring our knees to our chest and back down. So here we're working our core, our abs, straight and back up. Always breathe through your exercises. Do not hold your breath. Make sure your back is as close to the mat as possible. Good. And we're going to come back up into those jump squats. You can do a little jump or you can even raise up onto your tippy toes and come back down. Raise up onto your tippy toes and come back down for the people who don't want to jump. That's perfectly okay. Once you've completed those, we're gonna go back into that hover leg extension. We have 45 seconds to go, so let's really push it out into that hover leg extension, up and out. 16. Really good, again, those checks. Is your wrist and your shoulder in line? Is your core on? Are you feeling your glutes as you kick back? If not, drop down and really focus on those points. By dropping down, you take a little bit of the pressure off your wrist. You can also have your hands like this. That's it, keep it going. You've got 15 seconds. Let's get in a few drop push-ups in there, standing up. You've got seven, six seconds, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, everyone. Oh, I'm puffed. There's circuit two done. If you want to make it a little bit harder, you can repeat circuit one and circuit two. Make it 28 minutes. Make sure you subscribe to Women's Health UK and follow that cool down in the notes below. I'll see you next time. Bye.